Yo, say what's up, guys. Oh, it's Everybody, this this is actually not what you think it was. They're actually stream snipers, and they wanted to say hi. When you come and say hi. Somebody called the police and said that I had a Glock and I was going to kill myself. Yeah. What happened? People were calling and making up stuff about like you guys having pretending you have guns and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, people. Like, they, you guys are gonna, you guys are doing a prank is what they keep saying. So that's all it is. But no, you're not. No, hold. Stop. 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 This police officer. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Yo, are you? you follow us. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, we're in the middle of the road. Is it? Oh my god, it's a swap. You came at the wrong fucking time. Oh god. Look, it's a swamp. You came at the wrong fucking time, dude. Oh god. Why is this happening? My phone's at 3%. Do you have a charger? God damn it. Dude, what? Ah, fuck. Hold on, my fucking. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, I see you. I heard you. Alright. Okay, see you later. Okay, see you later. You know that's a real Okay. I can take that from you and fuck it. So I started watching live streamers lately and I noticed that they have a really hard job, streaming almost daily for hours at a time. They get money off of ad revenue of course, but also donations. So basically how it works is you donate, you get your name and your message displayed across the screen and then a text to speech app reads it for you. He thinks if he puts books behind him people will believe he reads. Oh, thanks for the donation. At some point though it's got to become very difficult to keep creating content that people want to watch. I mean, I create, what, eight minute videos? So how do they do it? I think some of it has to be staged. Now, I'm not trying to rip on it. Like I said, I've become sort of a watcher recently, but I'm genuinely curious about how it can be sustainable to, to keep up this sort of stuff without at least a bit of acting being involved. You'll see them go to events, host parties, or sneak into random places. And recently, a lot of people have been doing boxing. That's been a, a big thing on YouTube to do recently, is have boxing matches. Ended up with 48. Yeah! But being a live streamer, it's got to be really hard to keep the bar that high, to keep your content watchable for pretty much every day of the week or whenever you're doing your stream. So there's no doubt in my mind that some of the interactions must be set there to create drama, some of it must be overblown, and just like sneaky product placement, some of it's got to be put in there just to get views. And you know, sneaking things in like that, it's kind of sad. Consider the fact that there's already a big lack of originality in live streaming already. I mean, there's a term called leech, and that's used for somebody who just piggybacks onto somebody else's live stream to get more views and more followers on their own stream. And why? Because it's pretty damn hard to be entertaining all the time. Some people are willing to do anything for views. But the reason I'm so skeptical is because of things like reality TV, product placements, news media, and even the radio. It's all designed to think that what you're seeing is completely reality, and it's also all been proven to be completely misleading. Now maybe you're smarter than me and you've realized all along that everything's just as fake as Jerry Springer, but for the last few years, a lot of us have had our eyes open to this sort of thing. What are you, some kind of freak? Hey, shut up, Okay, okay, come on. I'll kick you right. Bring it on, you stinky All right, all right, come on. No one talks to my son like that. It's okay, Spike. You mother one of my most favorite and most curious cases though is a guy who goes by the name Hampton Brandon. He was kicked off of YouTube and Twitch for being too crazy. Or maybe, as you can see, it's for being too fucking cool. The way I see it, Brandon had to do some ridiculous stuff in order to remain entertaining. He walked into TV and movie sets, office buildings, where people were doing construction, even Scientology buildings, he really didn't care. Brandon got banned from YouTube and Twitch for a good reason, and he has his fans to thank for that. They actually encouraged a junkie 
to sexually harass women, beat people up, and steal shit for money. Seriously, a round of applause for these delinquents. I mean, given this is a sort of social justice viewpoint of what he was doing, but it's these type of views that get these people banned from places like YouTube and Twitch from complaining. That being said, though, Brandon was pretty out there, and he wasn't afraid to get into interactions with anybody. I think he's listed at 6'3", so he wasn't afraid to fight anybody, and he always got himself in altercations if anyone tried to check him. His mouth got him into trouble quite a few times, and even got him hit by a car. <laughs> I'm angry, bro. I'm angry. I got money to make. Weirdo. What's that? Cuz. Bitch ass nigga. You a. Fuck nigga. Fuck fuck nigga. Keep running. Keep running. Nigga. You a. Fuck So the point is that one of the most entertaining guys, at least in my opinion, essentially had to be a sociopath to keep up his viewership. To be entertaining for hours a day, almost every day, it sort of becomes like reality TV. And reality TV is pretty damn scripted. That's why I think people kind of like and gravitate towards Big Brother TV in terms of reality shows. From the outside, it looks the same contrived drama that you see everywhere else, but when you actually look into it, people are actually playing a game where they're losing things on purpose, they're saying things on purpose, they're faking things because it is all just a game. Compare that to something like the real world where they're paid regardless of what they do, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what they get into or how pieced together it is or how fake the interactions are as long as there's sex and drinking I think everybody who watches or participates in the show is pretty happy You're telling me that if I were to hook up with you at some point in the show you wouldn't let me braid your hair Yes. Okay. That being said though, I do think there is good live streamer content out there. Ice Poseidon's one, Sam Pepper and Andy Milanakis come to mind. They go to big events, they've done things like go on an RV, or they'll host events. They've even snuck into places, which is pretty entertaining. And the thing is though, you do hear them talk about the need to create content all the time outside of all that. And with that comes people constantly ordering you pizzas or calling SWAT teams on you. So much so that the term SWATted was created for when viewers of a live streamer call the police or call in a bomb threat on that person or where they are. Yo, say what's up, guys. Hey, oh, what's up? Everybody, this, this is actually not what you think it was. They're actually stream snipers and they wanted to say hi. It, when you come and say hi. <laughs> okay, so. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Sure. Thank you. Somebody called the police and said that I had a Glock and I was gonna kill myself. Come on, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking dumbass. You're such a dipshit, dude. Come on, dog, what's wrong with you, man? Come on, dude. Fucking retard, bro. I thought that was the fucking- We're gonna sell shirts, We're gonna sell, I'm, I'm gonna sell shirts again. Uh, CX shirts uh, again here on YouTube, so. Everybody okay Yeah. No. 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 Has he to hurt you or anything? <laughs> well, apparently somebody walking your feet is I don't know. I just got lucky. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> I, just got, I just got lucky. My, my life has been ruined because of it. Yeah, I've got a shot. A shotgun. He just cocked a shotgun. Oh God. Oh God, dude. They think they think somebody says some bad shit. Dude, I'm shaking. They just, they just literally have guns pointed at us and he cocked a shotgun. But on the other side though, there has been at least one streamer who's been caught faking being swatted. Just, just go stick. Police! Hands! Hands! Police! Get up! Get up! Yo, what the fuck? There's even a guy who faked being in a wheelchair to get bigger donations, and on one of his streams he actually got up and walked away before he forgot to turn off his camera. You hurt my feelings. I'm back. <laughs> hey, Angel. Hi. Did everybody already leave? Yeah, I'm uncle had to go. Cause when it's easily out geared. Our dog. Our do oh my god, we took our dog. Um, like to the fish shop today because the dog loves just like going out and meeting new people and we constantly have to take him to like be introduced to new like random people and stuff so he hangs out at fish shops and stuff because like we love talking to the people there anyways um 
and there were just a bunch of people that like came in, at, like a bunch of customers that came in, just like in this huge flow, and he got scared and like came and sat on my lap, and I was like, oh, this is so cute, like he's cuddling with me because he's scared. Of course, there's also gaming streamers who get caught using bots or cheating all the time because the better player you are, the more views you're gonna get, and then they got they get caught uh, not actually being good at the game at all, so they're ousted. So I don't think it's too far-fetched for me to think that some of the less crazy stuff is also set up in order to get donations. Nice shirt, loser. Oh, thanks for the donation. The thing I want to be the takeaway from this is that when things are really adamant about being truthful and bringing you the truth or bringing you reality, but that reality requires money and views to continue, that is when you should be the most skeptical. But in all fairness, I feel really compelled to tell you some of the YouTube community secrets. One thing that's really hard to keep track of is the comments. Sometimes people will say something, I'll reply, and then I won't be able to find it or I'll completely forget about it. If you really have any questions though, the best place to ask me would be on Twitter, I guess. The last thing I'll tell you is that if you see anyone anywhere on TV, YouTube, the internet, and you usually see them from the waist up, pretty much a guarantee that most of the time they don't wear pants. Hello! Hello! People of Hollywood! You know where we're going? I have a big ass dumpster. We can all fit in it. Crackhead Handy has arrived. We got crack. We got meth. We got PCP. We got Asian Andy's Adderall. We got Asian Andy's best Adderall. We got it all here for all you guys. And we got masks. So if you guys have sex and don't want to know who you're having sex with, we got it all. Just come up here and line up. Right here, right at that crack. Cat better stem, catch a wave on us. Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment. I'm Luke Skywalking on these haters. Splish. Celebrate every day.